Okay, have a look at this here. Um, this is uh, this is my house here. Um, let, let's say the width of my house is X and the height is also X. Um, this is a garden over here. Um, the the height of the garden is is three times the uh, the height of my house, and the uh, the the length of the garden is five times the uh, the length of of my house. Um, this distance here is twenty meters. Um, work out the width of my house. Uh, find find the find the the width. Of what the the width is the same as the length. So um, find find the length or the width. Um, so um, so given this, let's let let's say this this length here is uh, is three x. Okay, uh, because x represents the width of uh, of my house here, and uh, this distance here is um, is let's see one two three four five five x. Okay, so um, so the height here is three x, the width here is five x. Now, if if we use Pythagoras, um, re remember the, the the square of this the, the longer side is um, is twenty uh, twenty squared equals now this squared okay so it will be um 3x uh, remember this exists in a bubble so we we've, we've got to we've got to square it like this you can't you can't write it like this 3x squared because people will just think you you got to square this and then times 3 you've got to do this because because um because 3 3x exists in a bubble and then you got to times by itself so, so it will be this. So really, it's going to be nine, uh, nine x squared. Okay. Later on, it will be there. And then, uh, plus. Well, you you got to plus uh, this squared. So, um, so it will be five x. That exists in a bubble. So, so we've got to use brackets here. And then we've got to square it. Okay. It's no good writing this. Uh, twenty squared equals three x squared. Uh, plus 5x squared because th this here would be it would be like this it, it won't be the same you've got to do it like this okay so um so now uh, let's let's uh, let's try and work this out uh 20 squared well 2 times 2 would be 4 there will be two zeros um and then this would be uh this here would be 3x uh, so, so 3x times 3x. So, um, so 3 times 3 would be 9. And then, uh, x times x, it would be, uh, x squared. Okay, plus, well, this one here will be, uh, will be 5x times 5x. So 5 times 5 will be 25. And then you've got the x squared. Okay, um, uh, and then, uh, and then, and then look at this here. Um, same entity, if you like. Same entity. So you see, so it's like me saying nine elephants plus twenty-five elephants. Um, so, so that that would be um, that would be thirty-four elephants. Okay, oh, not e. Uh, yeah, so thirty-four elephants. So, so the 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 entity stays the same. So basically, nine nine x squared plus 25 x squared equals 34 x squared okay on this side it would be uh, 400 okay and then and then um, and then divide both sides by uh, well remember you're trying to isolate the x so kill off the 34 so divide both sides by 34 so let's let's just write it like this uh, over 34 uh, equals x squared now even number, even number. So we, we know we can divide top and bottom by two at least. Okay. So um so four. So we we just try to simplify this fraction here. So it will be two hundred on the top, and then at the bottom it will be uh, uh fifteen plus two. So that will be seventeen. Okay. Um I don't think that will simplify anymore. So uh so we we leave it as this, and now square root both sides. So x equals Root uh, 200 over 17. So, so all, all you need to do is punch this into your calculator. Uh, work out this bit first, and then and so so get 200 divided by 17, and then square root it. That that will then give you x. Okay. So x here represents. Remember, x here represents um, represents 
the the width and the height of, of my house. Okay, it, it doesn't represent this because x represents this. Now, if you want to know this, then you have to get your answer. Which you have to get x, your answer, and then times it by three if you want to know the the, the total height here. And if you want to know the the length here, then you have to get the answer, uh, and then you got to times it by five here. Okay, to, to get this length here. So so uh, x just represents the uh, the width of the house and the height of the house. Okay.